Dear customers, today I'm going to show you how you can recover your Jadoo 4 white color box firmware. If your box is showing red light or somehow its firmware has gone bad, you must have received recovery files from our support team. If you have not called them, call our support team and get the recovery files in the mail. Now you must have an email in your inbox from Jadoo support team. All you have to do is open the mail. As you can see in the mail we do have multiple links attached. I'm going to click on them one by one and choose download. Here you can see I'm downloading all the files. Once all the files are downloaded completely, you may go to my computer and choose the download folder. Download path may vary depending on your browser as my browser has downloaded the files into the downloads folder. I'm going to open it and you can see I have all the files which I have downloaded in this folder. I'm going to select all of them and right click on that and choose copy. Now in order to do recovery your USB will not work. The only way to recover the box using the recovery method is you need a micro SD card. A micro SD card is the one we normally use in our cell phones and you for sure need a SD card reader, a micro SD card reader to connect it into your computer. Now I have connected the SD card, my micro SD card into my computer and I can see it in my computer drive. Now you are supposed to right click on that and choose format. Formatting will delete all the important data you have in your micro SD card. So make sure if you have any kind of images or any important files into your micro SD card, you should copy those to your computer before formatting. Now once you will choose format, you will see the start button. Press OK on that and press OK for the warning. You will see it will format the card. Now you can close the format window. Now open the micro SD card and right click anywhere and select paste. You will see it will start copying all the files you have downloaded into your downloads folder into this micro SD card. Once copying is completed you may go back to my computer, right click on your micro SD card again and select eject. Now you are safe to remove the micro SD card from your computer. From here we will start the second step of the method. What you are supposed to do is on the right side of your Jadoo 4 white box you do have a slot to connect a micro SD card. Make sure you take it out from the card reader and directly connect your micro SD card into your Jadoo box white. Now the SD card is connected. Flip the box upside down as you can see. At the bottom of the box there is a tiny hole. Now you will need a toothpick or maybe you can use the phone sim ejector pin as I'm using it over here to press the button inside this hole. There is a physical button inside this hole. Now take the power out of your box and put the pin right on top of the button. As soon as you connect the power with the one hand start pressing the button with the pin. You will see the light will start blinking on the front side of the box. After a few seconds the light will get stable. Once the light will get stable you are free to release the button but do not take out the power. Now leave the box for 3 to 5 minutes it will stay blank. After 3 to 5 minutes you will notice that it will start updating the firmware on your box. Now it will take few more minutes to update the firmware on your box once your firmware is completely updated on your box, it will reboot itself and take you to the home page of the Jadoo 4 box. Now you can take out your micro SD card connected into your Jadoo and connect your box with your internet. Thank you for watching Jadoo.